You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have one of our fan favorites, Lynn Smith. Hi, Hi Lynn. Mark. How Good are you? to see you again. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you're all over TV. You're on Greater Brockton and uh, Community Options. That's right. It's okay. so exciting. Um, and you're doing a good job. I'll play the host this time. You're the guest. I will okay? be. I will follow <laughs> your lead. Uh, Friday Night Flicks. This is an initiative that we've done for a couple of years here in the City of Champions, and it's happening all over again for it's, the whole summer into the fall. It's amazing, isn't it? It's summer and it's time for outdoor movies. So we're delighted that we have a partnership between David Offit. He's of Century 21 Equity Realty Plus, stepped up to the plate and made a donation. Mayor Carpenter through the Mayor's Children's Fund. And this year, the Keith Park Neighborhood Association. So the three of us joined forces and we're gonna do outdoor movies in six different locations mm -hmm. on six Fridays in a row starting uh, July 29th. I have to put my glasses on because okay. even 16 font doesn't um, help. Gotcha. So we go to a local company in Attleboro called Funflix. Mm -hmm. They bring a giant inflatable 16 foot high screen and last year we collected votes on what movies the kids wanted to see and we showed those so this year we're showing the runners up oh, uh, so okay. there'll be five kids movies and we're doing something a little bit uh, different so we arranged for the screen for the licensing we'll have free popcorn free water all you have to do is bring a chair and a blanket and enjoy what could be better than that if you go out to the movies nowadays for an evening movie even mm -hmm. for kids mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. It is it's a lot of money. It's not back in the, well, I'm dating my, I'll date myself. I remember when I worked in a movie theater, so I didn't have to pay because <laughs> yep. that was the perk. We, we got student minimum wage, but we got free yep. movies and kind of lasted for a couple of years. Well, if you want to feel nostalgia, come to my house because I get the pre-popped popcorn delivered to my house. And for six weeks, my whole house smells like a butter machine. <laughs> you can't beat that. So July 29th, the first one is 8 o'clock yeah. at City Hall Plaza. So July 29th, 8 o'clock sharp. We start right at 8, okay. City Hall Plaza, and it's going to be sto Toy Story. Toy Story. Do you know Toy Story has been around since 1995? It was the very first um, Pixlar um, movie. Wow, 1995, I didn't realize that. So, so that makes it 21 years old, right? Yeah. 21. Yeah. And, and you know um, Buzz Lightyear? You know what they were going to call him originally? Nope. Larry Luna. <laughs> Buzz, Lightyear Buzz Lightyear. So Toy Story is coming to City Hall Plaza July 29th at 8 o'clock. Okay, and then you go to Tukas. And then the following Friday, which is August 5th, we're going to go to Tukas Park, and the kids really gave us a lot of votes for Inside Out. It's about a little girl who has to move from Minnesota to San Francisco, and she has to deal with her emotions. And so those emotions become characters in this movie, joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust. So this one's a little more recent. It's a 2015 movie. That is interesting because, you know, we you, you look at the comics and you see the word bubbles. Mm -hmm. So instead of word bubbles, you get characters. That's that's interesting. It's I really like interesting. And they designed it. The art director said that he was inspired by the sets of the 1950s musicals mm -hmm. that were a little bit over the top. So we decided this year, since the senior population, the 60 plus population in Brockton is now just about equal to or bigger than the population of school-aged children, we're going to bring back a classic. According to the American Film Institute, number one musical of all time, number seven on the most popular list. So August 12th, Keith Park Campello. Mm -hmm. Now that's the one on the south side where Maine and Plain and Montello meet, singing in the rain. Okay, there you go. And even if you have kids that dance or take tap or ballet, you can't beat Gene Kelly with his umbrella dancing in the rain and singing in the rain. Okay, now, question for you. You brought it up. You said a title. 
if it's raining, what happens? Yeah, what you want to do is check our Keith Park Neighborhood Association Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Usually, if the following Monday night is free, mm -hmm. so the following Monday night, depending on the movie operator schedule, we postpone it till the following Monday night. But check the Keith Park Neighborhood Association Facebook page or check our website, which is K. P N A Brockton dot Weebly dot com because Weebly is a free uh, web uh, site. Okay. So we'll post it all over social okay. media. So and August we'll help you twelfth. Too. So if you get a cancellation, we can. Yeah. Now you get three more, and I think I got three minutes, maybe four minutes. Okay. So let's talk about the next. You said there was six, and five of them were Fridays. And right. One's a Saturday. Right. right. So then the following Friday, remember the sun goes down a little bit faster. So on August 19th, mm -hmm. we're going to go over to the west side to Hancock Park. That's at the corner of Pearl and Pre Pleasant. We can start that one about 745, and it's going to be Finding Nemo. Because, okay. you know, the Dory film came out, mm -hmm. so now everybody can come and see Finding um, Nemo. And then the last Friday of August, August 26th, again, 745, we're going to go back to City Hall Plaza, and it's a classic Space Jam. Okay. Remember Michael Jordan, the basketball player? Mm -hmm. Remember when he thought he could be a baseball player? And uh, it's the it's the uh, Looney Tunes characters yep. that sort of help him with the transition. So those are the five Friday nights. And then the kids have to go back to school. Right. So the very last one we're going to do on a Saturday night, September 10th, in the Mulberry Street Playground. Mulberry runs from Elliott to East Ashland. Mm -hmm. And that one can be early because it's September. So the 10th of September, 7 o'clock in Mulberry Street Playground, Zootopia. And you know that's uh, Judy Hopps, the rabbit, wants to be a police officer. And she ends up with an unlikely partnership with a red fox. So it's an adorable, adorable movie. So those are the six in the um, lineup. July 29th through the August 26th, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 745, 745, and then they go later. Check our Facebook page for all the details. We have posted it everywhere. But we want to thank David Offit for his support. You know, the mayor does it through the Mayor's Children's Fund. His golf raise fundraiser is coming up and all the Keith Park um, folks that help out Tim Carpenter of Parks Steve Hook of Bema helps us with power sources it's a wonderful collaboration couldn't be a better price get your friends and neighbors kids of all ages absolutely and this the singing in the rain one like you said a classic mm -hmm. so yep. You do great work. Thank you. You've got you. a good group of people that partner with you. We and do. And it's nice to have sponsors and people that care. So if they say there isn't anything to do in Brockton on a Friday night and one Saturday, they're wrong. They're wrong. Okay. So bring a chair, bring a blanket, and I'll see you in the front row. Sounds good. Thanks, All right, Mark. Appreciate it. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.